interstellar object whirling through our solar system is actually a nuclear-powered spacecraft sent by aliens to test how humans respond. Howard's top scientists saying it could be a nuclear-powered alien craft. There is an alien spaceship that's heading towards Earth. And just a few hours ago, the space research team has just revealed a brand new image where the scientists used James Webb Telescope or this massive alien technology spaceship that's been floating around in our space known as the 3i Atlas has just been spotted by the James Webb Telescope. And just a few hours ago, they just revealed this information where it seems like this object has been releasing massive amount of CO2 and H2O as it keeps moving forward into space. Now these images right here is basically what it looks like. And now they're saying that the 3i Atlas this massive object could actually be much larger than what they have been expecting. Because previously they said that this object was supposed to be as big as Manhattan itself. But right now, it seems like things have changed after what they have just discovered. It seems like the object could be far larger than what we have been expecting. Now this right here is the breaking news all over the world right now. Because right now, the 3i Atlas, which is the most puzzle object that we have ever discovered in space, which is currently said to be moving towards Earth. And it's moving in such a face that it doesn't look like it's some sort of an asteroid. Well, Professor Avi Loeb, who is a space research professor, has already been saying that this is not some sort of an asteroid. This is legitimately some sort of an alien technology that is actually coming towards Earth. Now, a lot of scientists, a lot of people who have worked behind this stuff, they've already been warning us, stating that these alien things that they talk about is basically the spiritual beings, which are things that we have already warned about in many religious and spiritual scriptures where some of us know them as the Anunnaki's or the fallen angels from the scripture of Bible. And these things apparently they exist somewhere out there. And the government has already known about these things for many years, but then they never really reveal this information to the public eyes. But right now, what James Webb's telescope has just captured is that this object is currently releasing about 70 kilograms of carbon dioxide every single second. Can you imagine? 70 kilograms is a massive amount of CO2 that is being released by this object. And this was only calculated based on the distance and the things that we can currently see using the James Webb's telescope. But then as we get closer to this object, as it gets closer to the sun and earth, then now scientists actually believe that the object could be much larger than what they've been expecting. Now for all these days, NASA has been stating that these are just comets. You don't have to worry about them. It's not some sort of a spacecraft or aliens or whatever. But now after the new latest findings, which just came out a few hours ago, it seems the comets are rocks, which basically displays water vapor and a classic water-based coma substance, where the 3i Atlas, it's releasing carbon dioxide, which is something that's usually used by motors or engines. As though you're burning some sort of a fuel that's helping push this object into the space. Now you guys should actually take a look at what Professor Avi Loeb has to say um, in the Fox News where he actually did an interview where he basically gave out a lot of information about why he thinks that this is actually a space alien craft that's heading towards Earth. And this could be a lot more dangerous than what we have been expecting so far. Now take a look at this video right here. So it's sun, got a unique, it's got a unique signature that doesn't imply comet. And as you know, NASA is saying this is mm -hmm. a comet. It poses no threat to Earth and will remain at a distance of at least 1.6 astronomical units. That's about 150 million miles. But as we know, NASA's been wrong before. Uh, they thought they had discovered a new asteroid, mm -hmm. which turned out to be Elon Musk's Roadster, the Tesla Roadster. It seems like NASA actually saw this car that was flying around in space uh, that Elon Musk launched, and they thought that it was some sort of an asteroid as well. So that is the kind of information that NASA basically possesses. Although they have billions of dollars that's been uh, funded towards them, they still don't really, you know, or probably they're just being very hesitant in terms of like, or ignorant, you could say. They're being very ignorant in terms of like accepting anything that could be other than what they believe is science. So it's just complete ignorance to actually think that there is no such thing as spiritual beings. There's no such thing as fallen angels or aliens. And you know, obviously aliens are indeed fallen angels. And the meaning of alien is basically something that we are not aware of. And we don't really know what fallen angels are exactly, how they look 
look or whatsoever. So that's basically what we call as aliens and what kind of technology they possess is something that is completely unknown to us. Now heading back to Avi Loeb's uh, response here. So they've been wrong before. Oh yeah, I mean, science uh, mm -hmm. is full of mistakes, you know, and uh, scientists uh, in the mainstream of science that are considered experts often invest billions of dollars to uh, exactly. check uh, a hypothesis that turns out to be wrong. You know, the, some examples include, for example, the uh, a new symmetry of nature, supersymmetry that was thought to be definitely out there. Mm -hmm. And then the Large Hadron Collider was constructed at a cost of $10 billion and didn't find any evidence for it in its natural range of parameters that was embraced for decades by theoretical physicists. Yes. Um, and, you know, there are many such examples that I can bring, but the point is that uh, science is not decided by authority. It's decided by evidence. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, the problem with experts is that they often uh, uh, use echo chambers that represent their past knowledge. And, and um, the, the, uh, by doing that, they do not allow uh, something surprising to be discovered. Yeah, it's, it, yeah I think uh, uh, in science we should have some sense of humility because uh, mm -hmm. uh, nobody expected, for example, quantum mechanics to be discovered. It was completely surprising. We still don't understand it a century later. And uh, Albert Einstein had a difficult time interpreting it. So it just seems like, you know, scientists in NASA, they obviously they're just very ignorant in terms of like addressing all different kinds of possibilities. Although we have many scriptures, although we have religious scriptures that are stating that there was a civilization before we humans existed. There were people that lived on Earth and they were way huge and they were known as giants, Nephilim, and they were also known as fallen angels. And these things did exist on Earth. And... Uh, we don't really know where they are currently, and it's just very ignorant to just believe that NASA has the answer to each and everything. And it seems like Avi Loeb has just found that something is out there, and it's heading towards Earth, and it's supposedly going to be reaching towards Earth, or at least close to Earth, in the month of probably October of 2025. It seems like this object is going to be very close to the sun, where some of us, if you have a telescope, or even a Nikon P1000, which is a camera that kind of like zooms in unbelievably towards the stars, and a lot of people found out many information about the things that NASA has been lying previously. So that's the reason they kind of just discontinued this whole camera. They just banned it from not being sold out there. But then if somebody already owns it, you might eventually find the camera and you will basically get to see this thing when it gets closer to the sun or the Earth's atmosphere. And during this very short time, it seems like all the telescopes in our Earth is going to be able to see this object and what it actually is. You know, we say, well, nothing could travel that fast. Nothing could reach us because it's too far away. Well, let's mm -hmm. put a civilization that's been around a billion more years than us. Where would they be exactly. in technology? Exactly. So I think exactly. it's just complete yeah. arrogance it's and ignorance to think that We've got all the answers. I think it's just arrogant. Now, there was a question that was asked to Professor Avi Loeb on when we will actually be able to see this thing uh, when it gets closer to the Earth. And he actually gives us an answer. Do you think we're going to have an answer, say, within a month as to what the origin of this is? Not, maybe not the origin, but what it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's my hope. Uh, uh, that by collecting more data, it will eventually become clear. If it's anomalous, uh, it wouldn't be possible to shove uh, these anomalies under the carpet of traditional thinking. Mm -hmm. However, if it's a comet, uh, it will be clear to, that it's a comet because it will warm up as it gets closer to the sun and erupt uh, in outgassing and release of dust. So my hope is that uh, by the end of September, we will know because during October, it will end be difficult to observe it, uh, it because the sun will be in the way. Yeah, it will hide behind the sun. At you know, that time. It's so we have just entered um, to the end of August and it seems like we're entering towards uh, September. And this is a time when we are officially going to be getting more information. And just a few hours ago, before this interview happened, a few hours ago, they just found using the James Webb telescope that it's releasing carbon dioxide. And that's not something an asteroid or a rock would do. It's something that an engine would actually do something that's actually flying around using some sort of a fuel technology that is the thing that can actually release that much amount of co2 and also what's actually
actually interesting about this object is that it has a lot of lights around it. And usually when it comes to Comet, it only has the Comet tail and that's only formed because it catches on fire or whatever. So, and this only happens as it gets closer to the sun. But then this thing is super far away and you can still see that it has a very bizarre kind of lights, which kind of resembles as to what a spacecraft would basically look like. And currently it seems like we will get more information about this as it gets closer to Earth, which is supposedly going to be by the end of September. Now, one thing that really caught my attention is that the consequences of what would actually happen if they do end up discovering that this is not some sort of an asteroid is something that's really going to blow your minds off because it seems like Professor Avi Loeb, he basically states that there will be a massive economy crash where the stock markets are completely going to be crashing down. And along with that, many different currencies and the way money works is going to be changing in a massive way. And that's something that I think that, you know, people like the government would actually want this to happen just because they want to shift the power from whoever is currently ruling and create their own one world government rule and as you know we have already known about the project blue beam which they've been working on which is not a big secret as of now but yeah you guys should actually take a look at what he has to say here about this and whole of stuff course, if something like that is detected the stock market may crash you know if, <laughs> if there is evidence that we encounter alien technology yes. that would be the most significant event in human history stick around um that's Dr. crazy Lo right like it just seems like although everything is working under the favor of the government and even if this whole thing happens, this is obviously going to be affecting the finances of all different nations. And another thing that everybody wants to know is on whether or not if you can see this with your bare eyes in the month of December when it gets very close to Earth. And I think they also answered this question Are in the interview. Are we going to be able to see this with the naked eye? It appears maybe not. No, not with the naked eye. You need a telescope that is mm -hmm. uh, available to amateur astronomers uh, of the order of half a meter in uh, diameter that uh, was used to discover it when it was uh, four and a half times uh, farther than the Earth is from the sun. And uh, so in principle, you can watch it, you know, and um, mm -hmm. uh, as it comes closer to the sun, it will be easier to see it because so it seems like even if you have some sort of like a cheap telescope, it doesn't really have to be like a professional one, even an amateur one that can even see like a half the length, you will still be able to see this object like flying over and it's going to get closer to sun. That's what he's saying. It gets brighter. Are you concerned with what the reaction would be on Earth mm -hmm. if we suddenly were visited? I mean, it's I think the people ultimate just, question. Yeah. Do, do you I think, think we for will, sure. Uh, we will... Uh, have a, a better uh, understanding of our place in the universe and a better mm -hmm. plan for the future after the first encounter. It will surprise us. It will be a wake-up call. I don't expect that uh, the political system or the scientific community will be ready for that before it happens. Because right now, you know, a lot of people, I really had to interrupt here, I'm really sorry, but it seems like a lot of people don't really believe in the scriptures and the Bible and the things that they've already been speaking about and warning us about, that there are beings that's not human, that they have been intelligent and they have been living on this earth. And it just seems like NASA and science just completely neglects this whole fact. And they just want to believe that they are the only upper echelon that actually exists on the entire universe. So that's basically what science tells them. So they're just being very ignorant. So I think that most probably if this turns out to be some sort of a fallen angel, technology or something that's actually coming from up there which could end up being the fallen angels who are returning in order to take seize control or maybe this is all just an orchestrated you know lie that the government is currently feeding us like the project blue beam states that they will basically create a false enemy something that's not real manipulate people into thinking that this is some sort of an alien technology that's you know attacking all of us humans and then there will be this one guy who's going to save us from all of these things and he is supposed to be the antichrist so it seems like all of that part is very nicely playing along and it could be the reason why they are just planning in order to make the one world government man this could eventually 
happen. And it seems like everything is going according to their plan. And they're just setting up the phase. And it seems like we are entering right into the end times. Let's take a look at what he has to say here. Because you can see right now what how people respond to the possibility that 3i Atlas is technological. Mm -hmm. But after the first visit, I think uh, there will be a lot of attention as lot to of how to plan forward. Uh, maybe employ a, a, an array of satellites around the sun so we can alert the Earth for any threat from interstellar space. There would need to be a decision of how to respond under different circumstances. Uh, there will be new technologies and new science mm -hmm. that need to be developed. So we better invest as not ne negligible fraction of uh, the, the budget that we allocate to military uh, affairs uh, worldwide. Just to kill each other, right? trillion dollars per year. Yeah. You know, if we take a fraction of that and invest it in space exploration, we could accomplish a lot in the coming decades. Dr. Loeb, you're... you're That's actually true. I mean, we humans just waste a lot of money in order to, like, create weapons where we are killing each other. I think we can rather use all of that money in order to, like, explore and learn about our history and learn about what's really out there in the universe instead of just wasting time and money and effort into making bombs that can basically cause a lot of destruction. That's all we've been doing for all these years. A genuine question here. Now, to be honest, I basically believe that once we kind of just have some sort of um, contact with these fallen angels that, that are supposedly coming towards Earth, as far as what Avi Lope is saying, a lot of people that actually worked on these secret, you know, agencies and CIA operations who have now turned out to be the whistleblowers, they basically stated that the things that these people call as the aliens are not actual aliens that we see in the movies. They are supposed to be some sort of a spiritual being which is very similar to what we see in the scriptures of the Bible. That is exactly what all of the whistleblowers have already been warning us about. And they said that they are extremely spiritual beings and they possess a lot more power, which is not physical power. It's something that can basically control your mind. They can use the energies of this world in order to control your mind. So that's the kind of uh, wicked power that these things possess, apparently. They are completely different. They're extremely intelligent and they know basically a lot more stuff about the universe than what we humans do and these are all the information so the whistleblowers have already been warning us about and they said that you know the government already knows about these things and they're just going to orchestrate and play along and just fool us around until the second coming happens and they are just planning in order to just make a one world order which means that there will be just one ruler which is also something that the Bible already warns us about, that this could be the Antichrist. But genuinely, I'm very interested to know what you guys have to say about this, because currently this is all that's trending out there or on the internet, on the news. Everybody's talking about it. Ever since a couple hours ago, they just released this new information stating that the James Webb satellite, it basically got the information that it's releasing some sort of a massive CO2, which is 70 kilograms per second, which is massive, by the way. So after this, this information came out it seems like entire world is kind of like just panicking and all the news and everything that they're talking about in the news and internet is all about the three eye atlas at this point and it seems like we're definitely going to be getting more information about this in the coming hours so i really want to know what do you guys personally think about what's going on right now please go ahead let your thoughts known down below in the comment section it's going to be a very very interesting topic to go ahead and talk about and i'm really curious to see what you guys have to say about what's really going on. And one thing I would definitely suggest you guys to go ahead and do is basically just go ahead, read the scriptures because everything is out here in these scriptures and we know a lot more information than what the scientist says about these external beings that are heading towards Earth. So I'm definitely sure that these are either the fallen angels or they're just setting up the phase for the second coming. Maybe this could be some sort of angelic technology that's heading towards Earth. We never know what the hell it is. So definitely go ahead, share your thoughts down below in the comments. Share this video with as many people as you possibly can so that more people can get to know about what's really going on in the world. Because I don't think many mainstream media actually covers the real information. They don't really talk about the scriptures. They always just talk about science and all that bullshit. So it's really important that people actually learn on whether or not if this is related to the scriptures and how it's related to God, angels, and all that stuff. So it's really important that you guys go ahead and share this video with as many people as possible so that they can also get to know and get enlightened with the information.
And also, and if you can't do it, the best thing you can do is simply just go ahead, drop a like on this video and also leave a comment that way. The YouTube algorithm, it just pushes this video to as many people as possible. And it only happens if there is more likes and comments in the video. So it's only possible if you guys go ahead and show your support. Now, with that being said, hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the day. Now, with that being said, if you guys want to stay updated with all the information about this stuff, make sure to go ahead, subscribe to the channel, turn the notifications on, and I will see you guys on the next one. Till then. Take it easy, fams, and goodbye.